Good afternoon, yearbookers. Welcome to Yearbooks Live, the podcast for yearbook teams to learn everything you need to know about the yearbook business with our 10-minute weekly yearbook lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, JP, coming to you from sunny South Florida. This is episode number two of Yearbooks Live. Today, we want to give you some tips on choosing the best yearbook publisher for your specific yearbook. What's important to you? Do you need a rep to stop by monthly to help you with the yearbook? Or will an email or a webinar suffice? Do you have a budget? Is price important? What events would you like in a book? What kind of deadlines do you need to work for you and for your particular company? We'll cover this and much, much more in the next 10 minutes of Yearbooks Live. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Today's episode of Yearbooks Live is supported by Yearbook Life. If you're looking for a quality yearbook that's easy to create at a lower price, Yearbook Life may be what you're looking for. In today's printing world, there's no need to keep paying the high cost of yearbooks. All of today's online software is very similar. Paper for printing and ink for printing costs about the same for everybody. So there's really no need to keep paying these high costs. Service and support are as important to you as they are to Yearbook Life. Get all the same features, benefits, and quality for much less without sacrificing the service and support you need. Check out Yearbook Life at yearbooklife.com. When shopping for a yearbook publisher, there are many choices. Back in the day, you only had a choice of about six to eight vendors that specialize in yearbook printing. These big companies controlled the market. They controlled the price, they controlled delivery, deadlines, virtually every aspect of the yearbook business. Some companies would even hold you hostage by never allowing a school to get out of debt. So that you would always owe the school, I'm sorry, you would always owe the publisher money year after year and you could never go and search and shop for a better deal for your school. Today, that's not necessarily the case. Today, some of this still does go on, but to a much lesser extent. There are now dozens and dozens of yearbook printers to choose from, many with their own software, state-of-the-art presses, and a complete yearbook program that makes it much less expensive and easier for everybody. So some things I want you to look out for when you're shopping for a new yearbook vendor. Number one, service. What services does your particular company that you're looking for provide? Do you have a local rep or is it a virtual rep? Someone that comes and visits you or someone that you can actually speak to online or on the telephone, email, etc. What time do you have access to your rep? Are you an East Coast school? You have a West Coast rep. Do your times coincide? Very important. What times do you have access to tech support? Again. Are you a West Coast school that needs tech support in the evening, but you have an East Coast company that might not be available when you are? Are you, all of your cover options available? Embossing, debossing, custom in sheets, etc. Is all of that really cool cover ideas that you have for your school for that yearbook, is it available? What training options does your rep or your company support? So all this is very important and it's really critical to know what services your particular company is going to provide. Something else you wanna be sure you're looking at when you're comparing vendors is price. Prices can vary greatly by company. Keep in mind, every single thing in the contract or in the proposed contract is negotiable. You as a school can negotiate price, you can negotiate shipping and the terms of shipping, you can negotiate your deadlines, and you should be able to negotiate your terms, your payment terms. So my recommendation is to definitely negotiate everything. Make sure when you're comparing apples to apples, make sure when you're, you're looking at vendors that you're comparing the same specifications, the same number of yearbooks, the same number of pages, the same cover type, the same size book. Everything should be exactly the same. Get three quotes. Whatever you do, get three quotes. And if you get quotes that just don't seem to match, what are you getting from a vendor that they're charging you so much money that you might not be getting from someone else? That might be important to you. Define the payment terms. Make sure you do this up front. Can you pay half now and half at the end? Can you pay everything and net 30 terms at the end? Or is everything, all the money required up front before you even start your yearbook or before you submit your yearbook? So price is very important and all the terms that go with it, you need to make sure you're familiar with all of them. Something else to look for is quality. In the end, what you're getting is the yearbook, the actual book. So the quality of that book should be impressive. Keep in mind, 
basically all presses today print about the same. To the average eye, the color is all gonna look very similar. Yes, maybe the pros in the business can see a difference, but to the average person, quality is going to be about the same when it comes to print. Make sure though, you get samples from each vendor to check the quality to make sure that it's all about the same. Check the paperweight. Some vendors give you 80 pound paper in their standard price. Some give you 100. That's important when you're dealing with maybe some younger students who the books need to be a little sturdier because they're a little tougher on the books. What type of cover comes with your particular product? Is it a soft saddle stitch book? Is it perfect bound? Is it a hardcover book? And if it is hardcover, how do they bind it? Is it smice sewn? Is it PUR bound? All of this is extremely important and get the samples so that you know exactly what you're getting. Make sure that there's a quality guarantee. So if you're not happy with the book for some reason when you get them, they'll take them back, they'll either replace them or refund your money. Very important, take a look at quality, make sure you do it on every single vendor you look at. The next thing you want to compare is software. Software is pretty much the ability to simply put pictures on a page. They're all about the same. However, some have bells and whistles that others don't. My recommendation to you is to look at all of them. Demo them all. Have them show you everything that there is available. You know what you like if you've ever done the book. You know what you like in the past. Make sure that those things that you like are available with the new company that you're looking at. Extremely important. What kind of training and support is available? Again, Hours are important. If you're a West Coast school dealing with an East Coast rep, is he or she available during your time? Sometimes the, the best that you'll do a yearbook, especially if you're in the PTA, the best time is when your kids are sleeping and it's late at night and you need help. Is your rep available? Is tech support available? Portrait flow. We all know that portrait flow, or you should, you'll, you'll find out pretty quickly that portrait flow is one of the most tedious processes of the whole yearbook process. So you want to make sure that you can have complete total assistance from your vendor when you're uploading portraits. Very important. Online store. Do you have an online store or does the company offer an online store so that you can purchase yearbooks or ads or, or anything for that matter on their online store? And when they collect the money from that online store, how does that money flow back to you as the school? Is it directly sent to you or do they offer you a credit? What works for you? Really important. In the software is a proof offered. You wanna see your book before it goes to print. Can you get a hard copy proof? An actual book of your end product that you can look at and make corrections in case there's any problems. Or is it a PDF proof that you just look at online? Again, something to look for. All of these different software, like I said, have hundreds of bells and whistles each. Make sure you do a webinar. Get, get your rep or tech support on the phone. Have them show you the webinar. Ask for a demo where you can actually get a demo yourself and you can play with the software a little bit. And be sure that wherever you do this yearbook and you're using the internet, make sure you check it against your internet. Some schools don't have real strong internet and it, the software just may not work for you in the school that well. So check it against the internet, extremely important, check software. Be sure you're checking delivery. Compare delivery across the board. Define your deadlines in writing with each vendor. What's your deadline for your cover? What's your deadline for your pages? Can you turn your pages in all at once or do you have multiple deadlines for different number of pages? Extremely important to look for. What do you want to include in your book? Do you want prom and graduation in the book and to get your book back before school gets out? Some companies can do that, some can't. When do you want the books delivered to the school? During the spring? During the summer, next fall, all of that's important when you are negotiating your deadlines. And do you want them delivered to the students' homes instead of actually delivered to the school? That would relieve most schools from the distribution headache. And there are companies now that will offer to ship every book directly to the student's home. There will be an additional fee, but it is available. Be sure you're checking all of your delivery options. Finally, company reputation. How long has the company been in business printing yearbooks? Yearbook printing is a specialized business. Not every printer can do it and do it well. Make sure that the company you choose has been in business for a while printing yearbooks. 
How long has your rep been in the yearbook business? Are they brand new? Maybe not be able to give you the support that you need for your complex yearbook. Check out the rep's credentials as well. What are the hours of operation? You've heard me talk about East Coast and West Coast. Companies are moving all the time. Find out when your rep available. Find out when tech support's available. If you have a customer service department you need to reach, hours of operation are important. Get references. I recommend two, three, four references for every single company you're looking for. Ask for references that are similar to the specs for your school. Also, I mentioned before, get samples. Make sure you're looking at a yearbook and what you can expect when you get yours delivered. So company reputation, check on every one of them. We hope you learned something today about finding a yearbook vendor and comparing each and every one. We want to thank you so much for listening to our show. We want to also thank our sponsor, Yearbook Life, at yearbooklife.com. We hope you'll stay with us and listen to all of our upcoming shows over the next few weeks and months. We ask you to tell your friends, share us to the world, subscribe. Uh, we, uh, we ask you to visit our show notes at yearbookslive.com. And you can hear us on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and anywhere you can find podcasts. Next week, we're going to be giving you an overview of the entire yearbook process. So now that you've selected a yearbook publisher, what can you expect? What are all the steps that you should be taking on this very important yearbook journey? Should be a very informative show. So until next week, happy yearbooking. Thanks.